Welcome to One Chemistry. This is One Minute Chemistry series. We are going to quickly see what is Markov rule. Through examples, we will see regio selectivity. What is Markov rule? It is a Hajbiar addition to asymmetrical alkene. It will be obey for any halide. Normally, you are adding Hajbiar to the asymmetric carbon system. Here, alkene is there with two different carbon atoms, where the H and Br will add. That is what Markov rule. The rule says Br added to more substituted carbon or simply you can say Br added to the carbon with less number of hydrogen atom. So the rule is the negative part of the reagent, here it is bromine, will be added to the more substituted carbon. What is the reason for particular selectivity? The real reason is carbocation stability. Everybody know the tertiary cation and secondary cation is more stable than primary. Here you have two possibilities of HBr addition. You can add H plus to first carbon or second carbon. That is what our possibility. If you add in the first carbon, you have secondary cation. If you add in the secondary carbon, you have primary cation. The secondary cation is more stable. So the reaction proceeds in that way. So the bromine added to the more substituted carbon, which leads to the stable cation. Here I given some example to practice yourself. You just choose the more substituted carbon and substitute bromine in that. It is that easy. Here last example is interesting because both carbons are equally substituted. One is with phenyl, one is with methyl. Everybody knows phenyl cation is more stable than methyl. So you should remember the fact that phenyl is more stable than tertiary. That's all from this video. Thanks for watching.